Hi friends, now we will discuss about kinematics of rigid bodies. When we will say kinematics, you must know kinematics means what? Analysis of motion without considering masses of particles and without considering the forces which causes the motion. This is kinematics. Next, rigid body part. Here, rigid body, when we will say the bodies of any size or shape, when any body rotates, then such a body is considered as rigid body for the analysis of motion. That means, if you take a huge body, maybe you can say a plane or a helicopter, and which one doesn't rotate, so such a body, plane or helicopter, is considered as particle. But maybe small 6 inch scale, if it rotates, then such a scale is also considered as a rigid body as it rotates about some point. That means in this case in kinematics of rigid bodies, bodies rotate somewhere and without considering masses and without considering forces will analyze its motion. As bodies rotate, some angular terms comes into picture. Angular terms are what? The linear displacement is yes, angular displacement is theta. Linear velocity V, angular velocity is what? Omega and linear acceleration is A, angular acceleration is alpha. That means you have to deal with here mainly with angular quantities. Now if we we'll assume just here a one bar AB. Now this one is a bar AB, which one is hinge supported at A? This one is hinge support. That means at this end as there is hinge support, rotational motion is allowed. If I will represent like this, this one is a direction of angular velocity. What it represent? Bar rotates about point A with some angular velocity omega AB. If bar rotates about this point, this end B traces a curved path or you can say arc of a circle, right? And for one revolution, you can say if bar rotates, then end B traces a circle of radius equal to length of bar AB. In curvilinear motion, what we discuss, the linear velocity of any point is always tangent to the path. That means as point B lies on this path and this bar rotates in clockwise direction, at this point if will represent tangent, tangent means the line which just touches the curve, the at point B if will draw tangent means perpendicular to AB because at point B if will join it to point A which is here center of circle here or center of this arc, AB represents normal, that means here if will draw a line tangent means perpendicular to this AB, what will get your vertical line? This line is always tangent to the path or you can say it is perpendicular to bar AB. Linear velocity of any point on a rigid body is perpendicular to radius of rotation. Here radius of rotation means what? You are finding say linear velocity of point B. Now bar rotates about point A, so this point A is called as center of rotation. This point is center, center of rotation. Point A is center of rotation. If you want to find out linear velocity of any point on rigid body, say AB, this point B, if we join to point A, this length AB is called as radius of rotation that means for point b radius of rotation is length ab <coughs> linear velocity of any point on a rigid body is perpendicular to radius of rotation to so this angle is 90 that means this is along tangent omega is clockwise that means B and B has to move in downward direction. 
therefore linear velocity of point b is in vertically downward direction this one is vb that means linear velocity of any point on a rigid body is perpendicular to radius of rotation and in the same sense of omega always now during motion what will be the position of rod if you will take now initially horizontal after some time say rod is inclined at 30 next again bar is inclined at 60 degree then it becomes vertical position of center of rotation doesn't change when during motion position of center of rotation doesn't changes then such type of motion is called as what say type a it is called as pure rotational motion which type of motion is called as pure rotational motion during motion a position of center of rotation remains fixed which doesn't changes such type of motion is called as pure rotational motion in pure rotational motion now bar rotates about point a a is called as center of rotation and distance of any point on a rigid body from center of rotation is radius of rotation for point b radius of rotation is ab if i locate some one more point here say point c ac becomes radius of rotation for point c if i locate here point d AD represents radius of rotation for point D. So linear velocity of any point on a rigid body is perpendicular to radius of rotation. That means VB is what? Downward. For point C, if you want to find out linear velocity of point C is perpendicular to radius of rotation. That means here what we will get? Perpendicular to AC in the same sense of omega. What we will get here? VC. Radius for point D becomes AD, linear velocity perpendicular to radius of rotation, what will get here VD. So you will get what? Linear velocities of such points. Linear velocity of any point. This is very important. Linear velocity of any point on a rigid body. is always perpendicular to the radius of rotation and in the same sense of angular velocity. Whenever we will solve any problem and if you want to represent linear velocity of any point, what is most important? Linear velocity of any point on a rigid body is perpendicular to radius of rotation and in the same sense of angular velocity. Omega clockwise linear velocity is downward. If same bar AB say rotates in anti-clockwise direction, so we will get VB, VC, VD vertically upward in the same sense of omega. Now from this one, if we we'll try to write equation for say VB, VC and VD, so what we will get? Linear velocity of point B, you know magnitude of any point on a rigid body, say V, linear velocity, in terms of, in terms of angular velocity, if you want to write, relation between linear and angular term is what? V equal to R omega. In this case, radius of rotation is what? For point B, radius of rotation is what? AB. Omega is of bar AB. That means VB equal to AB into omega AB. Similarly, linear velocity of point C, if we will find out, what is the radius of rotation? That is AC. Therefore, here AC into omega AB. Linear velocity of point D, if you want to write, again radius of rotation, distance of which point? Point D from center of rotation. That means what? AD into omega AB. From this one, if we we'll just analyze uh, out of VB, VC and VD, which velocity is maximum? So VB is maximum. Linear velocity of point B is maximum because radius of rotation for point B is maximum. For other points, radius of rotation is less. 
that means vb is maximum next is what vc again vd is less than vc because radius of rotation reduces that means as we will move towards you can say center of rotation linear velocity of point decreases because radius of rotation decreases if we will find out then what is linear velocity of point a the answer must be zero because radius of rotation is what zero or you can say the point such a point on a rigid body whose linear velocity is zero is called as center of rotation or characteristics of center of rotation is what point of zero linear velocity is a center of rotation let me this one is very important actually in any problem if you want to identify which one is a center of rotation the point of zero linear velocity point of zero linear velocity is center of rotation is center of rotation that means what we are discuss is pure rotational motion in pure rotational motion center of rotation its position remains fixed or the motion in which position of center of rotation remains fixed is called as pure rotational motion linear velocity of any point is always perpendicular to radius of rotation and in the same sense of angular velocity as linear velocity is perpendicular to radius of rotation can you say radius of rotation is perpendicular to linear velocity or and the same thing because if you know linear velocity of any point and from that only if you want to represent where is the center of rotation first will represent what radius of rotation which is perpendicular to linear velocity so this one is simple type of motion next motion we'll see now now if we'll assume say this one is a vertical wall then this one is a ground rigid surface wall is a rigid surface ground is a rigid surface now if we'll represent say there is one bar one end is resting against a vertical wall other end is resting on ground say this one is again a rod ab say this end is b this end is a so bar ab now assuming frictionless or smooth surfaces and this rod moves with some velocity definitely end a will slide in downward direction end b will slide in rightward direction that means if i'll represent what is the velocity of point b so what will get here vb velocity of point a you will get in vertically downward direction see so this is what va now as you know va downward vb downward both the points a and b lies on same rigid body say rod ab that means both the point lies on same bar ab now if you want to represent where is the center of rotation so from each velocity first we'll try for radius of rotation as you know linear velocity is perpendicular to radius of rotation can you say radius of rotation is perpendicular to linear velocity say for point a you know linear velocity vertical that means radius of rotation if you want to represent i'll draw here a line which one is perpendicular to va that means on this line somewhere you must get what center of rotation similarly vb is in horizontal direction if i'll represent here perpendicular to this linear velocity this angle is 90 so on this line you must get center of rotation because center of rotation always lies on radius of rotation and radius of rotation is perpendicular to linear velocity as you know va and vb these are linear velocities of ends a and b of a rigid body ab if you draw perpendicular to va on this line you must get somewhere center of rotation line represents radius of rotation as 
perpendicular to vb you are drawn on this line somewhere you must get center of rotation where both the condition get satisfied because the bar is single bar that means center of rotation is single you will get point of intersection of these two bars which satisfied both the condition that means this one is one location where now for va this line is perpendicular to va from vb perpendicular to vb say this one point i will give some name as point i now point i is a such a point where both the condition get satisfied that means perpendicular to vb and perpendicular to va i represent must represent center of rotation as i represent center of rotation this point what we are getting is called as center of rotation at this position when angle is theta now at next one more position if we try a is moving in downward direction or slides in downward direction b slides in rightward direction say after some time you will get position of point b point a somewhere here say name of point is a dash point b moves in rightward direction the will get location of this point as a say new name will give here b dash that means now position of this bar ab is like this i will join a dash to b dash motion of body starts from ab now it continues a moves to a dash b moves to b dash that means the direction of linear velocity of point c will represent a continues its motion in downward direction that means what linear velocity of this point a will get i will write as a v a dash for this point motion continues that means v b dash rightward now if you want to represent center of rotation again i will draw here what perpendicular perpendicular to what v a dash that means what will get here horizontal line perpendicular to v b dash if will draw we will get one vertical line that means now center of rotation is somewhere different say this point is again i or this point is i2 initial point what you are getting is say i1 that means this center of rotation point what you are getting its position is not fixed at this angle theta initially you are getting position as i1 at next angle which is less than that theta now you are getting next position i2 that means at any such position if we we'll try you will get different position of center of rotation as position of center of rotation doesn't remains fixed it changes from instant to instant therefore such a center of rotation is called as instantaneous center of rotation and in short it is written as icr in figure while solving problem if you want to represent we will write only by i which represent icr instant in a center of rotation that means why the center of rotation is called as instant in a center of rotation what points i1 or i2 these positions you are getting for center of rotation it is for that particular instant say at t equal to 1 second position is i1 as t increases we will get different position that means instant to instant position of center of rotation is different such a motion what we discuss here which doesn't rotates about some fixed center of rotation in such a motion is basically it is a combined type of motion and if we try to represent this here initial position is ab say vb is in rightward direction will assume end a also moves in rightward direction in this direction and what will get here say again intermediate position something like this that means which type of motion are considered here is a translatory motion which moves from a b to you can say a double dash b dash once you'll get this translatory motion imagine at this point b dash bar a double dash b dash rotates and as it rotates final position what will get here again a dash from this discussion can you say what motion we are discussing here is which type of motion to first there is a translation then rotation 
that means it is a combined motion and a combination of translation and rotational motion such type of motion is called as general plane motion now general plane motion means which type of motion it is a combined motion and a combination of translatory motion and rotational motion now if you want to find out what are the linear velocities or what are the equation initially if we take position as ab for position ab center of rotation is i1 that means at this instant this motion can be assumed as a pure rotational motion at that particular instant for example i1 ab what position we are getting i'll represent here ki say this one is what a rod this end is a and other end is b end a end b then you are drawn what perpendiculars horizontal this one vertical and what we have taken is what this point say this one is hinge and name of this point is what i1 now you know va vertically downward vb rightward that means it becomes now easy to imagine assume it's a triangular plate which rotates about i1 this one is just at that instant you can imagine it like this can be assumed this general plane motion can be assumed as a pure rotational motion at that particular time instant which is not pure rotational motion at that instant if you assume you now this one is a pure rotational motion where center of rotation is this hinge i1 now you know va and vb you may imagine this one is what a triangular plate and now from direction of va and vb can you see this bar ab rotates in which direction anti clockwise direction like this omega ab therefore now for this case if we try to write equation what equation of va will get radius of rotation into omega radius of rotation is i1 a into omega ab vb what will get here it's a distance from center of rotation i1 b into omega ab for next position i2 if you want to write what is va dash to so va dash is what it's a distance from center of rotation that means i2 a dash into same bar ab to omega ab vb dash is what i2 b dash into omega ab from this one we will get linear velocity of any other point on a rigid body say on bar ab there is one point c if we locate here say this point is what here c on the bar determine what is the linear velocity of this point c linear velocity of any point is always perpendicular to radius of rotation therefore first i'll represent what will join it to center of rotation and then will draw perpendicular perfect perpendicular to i1 c it's not along ab i'll draw a line which one is perpendicular perpendicular toward i1 c say this one is a line perpendicular right this one is vc which is what perpendicular to i1 c that depends on what length each and thing is given from that one linear velocity if you want to find out it is perpendicular to this i1 c means radius of rotation now from this one can you conclude like this if in any you can say rigid body problem if you know directions of linear velocities of any two points we'll draw perpendiculars to the velocity vectors as we are drawn here perpendicular to va horizontal perpendicular to vb vertical point of intersection of these are two perpendiculars what you are drawn represents position of center of rotation that means we'll write this as a note if linear velocities 
of any two points if linear velocities of any two points on a rigid body are known then point of intersection of perpendiculars drawn to the velocity vectors represents position of icr if linear velocities of any two points on a rigid body are known then point of intersection of perpendiculars drawn to the velocity vectors represents position of icr you will get number of such problem where maybe linear velocity of any two points are known how will locate icr then simply will draw perpendiculars to velocity vectors you will get some point of intersection point of intersection represent center of rotation similarly one more type of motion is possible this one is general plane motion but in general plane motion sometimes will face difficulties how to locate icr equation v equal to r into omega this relation is between in between what linear velocity radius of rotation and angular velocity if v is known and omega is known then radius of rotation is possible for example see this one is nothing but what suppose one rod ab will take say vertical at a and b hinge is not given that means motion is not pure rotational motion maybe it is given velocity is known and omega is known first we have to decide omega is in which direction and v is known so its direction must be known in magnitude and direction if you know where is a linear velocity of point b may be given like this ki b slides in this direction vb now as omega is known you know radius of rotation is always perpendicular to linear velocity i'll draw here a line which is perpendicular to vb this line is perpendicular to vb and if it is given omega that is nothing but in say clockwise direction like this so this one is omega of this ab now if you want to find out r can you say r equal to what v upon omega simply substitute value of v substitute value of omega we will get what radius of rotation that means here you can say we'll look at that point as icr now if you want to represent what linear velocity of point a if you want to find out we'll join that point point i to point a and if we'll draw perpendicular to i a will get linear velocity of point a out of three term any two terms are known easily will get position of center of rotation next again important type of motion is rolling without slipping any circular body maybe you can say wheel of a vehicle when normally vehicle moves its motion is always rolling without slipping in rolling without slipping say this one is a circular body you may assume this one as a circular ring maybe sphere maybe cylinder maybe wheel of any vehicle which one rolls without slipping say this one is a ground here wheel rolls say in some direction say this is the direction of omega now which location represents here center of rotation 
you know center of rotation is a such a point whose linear velocity is zero in this case center of wheel if will represent here center of wheel doesn't represents center of rotation what is the reason when any vehicle moves or wheel rolls without slipping this center of wheel moves parallel to the ground that means as omega is clockwise this c or this linear velocity of point c you will get in horizontal direction any vehicle if also when it moves axle of vehicle that one moves parallel to ground that means as this one is a position of axle which is center of wheel it moves parallel to ground now meaning of rolling without slipping that means at contact surfaces there is no slipping linear velocity of ground is zero that means the point on the wheel circumference of wheel which comes in contact with the ground now there is no slipping that means the point which is in contact with the ground its velocity must be zero because linear velocity of ground is zero otherwise if we we'll assume some linear velocity of that point which comes in contact with the ground if we we'll assume some velocity then there will be slipping slipping is possible in some cases if you are driving a vehicle and road is oily slippery and suddenly if you we'll apply brakes the vehicle skids that motion is rolling with slipping but for normal type of motion rolling without slipping as there is no slipping in contacts at contact surfaces linear velocity of ground zero the point which comes in contact with the ground its velocity at that instant becomes zero therefore this point of contact what you are getting here is icr why name is given as icr because say point a comes in contact with the ground next one this point again comes in contact with the ground so this point moves away from the ground that means each and every point on the circumference of wheel becomes icr when it completes one revolution but same point will not be icr at all the time instances as position of center of rotation changes that point is always different name of this point of or center of rotation is what icr now if we we'll join this point to this center and this wheel rolls in clockwise direction velocity linear velocity is perpendicular to radius of rotation now if you we'll say uh, represent linear velocity of any other point say this one is one point point d how will represent center of rotation the center of rotation is fixed say point i linear velocity of point d if you want to represent it is always perpendicular to radius of rotation that means i'll join point i to point d which represents what radius of rotation as this one is radius of rotation will draw perpendicular to radius of rotation omega clockwise that means linear velocity of point d is what vd perpendicular to id any other point is given say this one is one more point say point b what is the direction of linear velocity of point b perpendicular to radius of rotation which one is radius of rotation i will join to point b always concentrate important point is center of rotation if you want to find out linear velocity of any point on rigid body that point will join to center of rotation and once will draw perpendicular to it will get linear velocity of any point anywhere if you want to represent linear velocity of any point on the rigid body always join that point to center of rotation will draw perpendicular to radius of rotation concentrate on direction of omega and in the same sense of omega will represent linear velocity of that point thank you